Hey folks, in this video, I'm gonna show you four levels to practicing your jazz improvisation over the great Kenny Dorham classic, Blue Bossa. Blue Bossa is a 16 bar form. Measures one through eight are in C minor, measures nine through 12 are in D flat major, and the last four measures return to C minor. So as always, I like to start with the least amount of thinking possible because as you know, it is not possible to think and improvise at the same time. So to play the song at level one, you have to have some technical facility around your instrument using the C minor pentatonic scale, and the D-flat major pentatonic scale. So given that, here are some exercises for you to practice what I call level one, the pentatonic approach. Now that you have some chops, you can use these as a basis for improvisation. Here is a demonstration of a level one improvisation. Two choruses using only those two scales. Now we need to zoom in a little bit more and find the perfect cadences within the song. So in measures 6 to 7, 10 to 11, and 14 to 15, we have perfect cadences. You can also take the turnaround from the last bar to the top of the form. These are the places where by outlining the chords, we can add harmonic movement to the improvisation. Again, it pays off to have a few prepared melodies in your back pocket, so I've gone to the trouble to write some of them, several each for C minor and D flat major. The next step, of course, is to combine this extra level of detail with the basis we already covered in level one. So when I improvise, I will play C minor pentatonic with the cadence, D flat pentatonic with a cadence, and finally C minor again with another cadence. This is how you have to practice it. In this song, the V chord is always preceded by a II chord. 
And so as an added layer of detail, I'm now going to outline the 2-5-1 chord progression. This adds more motion to the harmony and is a great way to expand your jazz vocabulary. I will play one chorus and try to use some of these lines in the improvisation. Four. Now it's time to zoom down to street level from our metaphorical perch above this song. I'm going to outline every chord in the progression. For this approach, you will end up using the entire C natural minor scale, C harmonic minor scale, as well as the D flat major scale. So you need to practice those three scales. C harmonic minor will be used only on the G7 flat 9 chords. The trick, however, is starting these scales in the correct place. When I play a scale, I also count to myself. C is 1, D is 2, E flat is 3, etc. In this song, the first eight bars are in C minor. However, the root movement goes from 1, then the 4, then 2, 5, 1. And then we switch to D flat major and play 2, 5, 1. Then it switches back to C minor and we play 2, 5, 1. I will demonstrate two ways to practice this. The first is what I call the first five notes approach moving that melody around the scale depending on the chord. The second is simply outlining the seventh chords. Here's a demonstration of both. Four. Once you have mastered these four levels of improvisation, you can start to combine them freely however you like. If you want to hear what it sounds like when I play the song and I try to be creative with it, click on this link right over here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I look forward to hearing from you.